in my world as a professional investor, I'm in the acquisition phase. I've taken a position in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin was priced at just $7 per coin in 2012. 14 years later, the price of Bitcoin reached over $70,000 per coin for the first time. So, someone who bought one Bitcoin for $7 and held onto it has received a profit of 999,900%. In comparison, the price of gold has increased by just 29.2% in the last 14 years, which is almost nothing if put in comparison. Then there's Ethereum, another digital gold mine overshadowing traditional gold in growth rates. So you're probably wondering, have I missed the boat on Bitcoin and Ethereum? Can I still cash in on these crypto giants? Absolutely you can. In this video, we'll delve into why Bitcoin and Ethereum might just be the investments to focus on in 2024. And trust me, I have got some solid reasons for saying that. And don't go anywhere because by the end of this video, I'll be unveiling some jaw-dropping price predictions for both Bitcoin and Ethereum straight from the mouths of crypto market experts. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay updated with our latest insights. Only reason I buy Bitcoin is I don't trust my government. Now, let's get into the heart of why Bitcoin and Ethereum could be your golden ticket in 2024. The Basics let's first understand what we're about to dive into. First, let's talk about Bitcoin. Launched in 2009 by an anonymous entity known as Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin was initially a curious digital phenomenon. However, it rapidly evolved into a legitimate investment vehicle, offering staggering returns that traditional assets rarely match. Its limited supply of 21 million coins creates a scarcity effect, enhancing its value over time, especially during events like the halving, which we will be talking about later in the video. Okay, so what about Ethereum? Ethereum is more than a cryptocurrency. Introduced in 2015 by Vitalik Buterin, Ethereum is a platform that facilitates smart contracts and decentralized applications, dApps basically some technical stuff we're not going to dive into without any downtime, fraud, control, or interference from a third party. Ether, its native currency, powers the platform. Ethereum's adaptability and its role in the DeFi, decentralized finance, and NFT non-fungible token sectors have solidified its position as one of the top crypto coins. Every time it looks like it's getting a little cheaper, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. So I, I saw Bitcoin at 20,000, I think it was, and it dropped to seven and I waited. And when it came to nine, I, I bought. So today, let's say it's 50. I'm still in the money. And if it goes to 40, I'm going to buy more. The growth history of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Initially, Bitcoin was more of a trend than a financial asset with no real world value and mined by enthusiasts on personal computers. However, the narrative began to change dramatically. By March 2013, Bitcoin hit the $100 mark, signaling its potential as a serious financial asset. Then in 2017, Bitcoin crossed $10,000, driven by increasing adoption and the establishment of several centralized exchanges. The real game changer came during the COVID-19 pandemic in 2021, with Bitcoin breaking the $60,000 barrier twice, highlighting its growing acceptance and appeal as a hedge against economic uncertainty. By the end of 2023, with growing institutional interest and the push for Bitcoin spot exchange traded funds or ETFs on Wall Street, Bitcoin's value surged, reaching over $42,000. The momentum continued into 2024 with the approval of Bitcoin ETFs in the US, leading to a record high of $73,750 in March. Ethereum's journey started differently. While the ETH coins were available for purchase in 2014, the Ethereum blockchain only went live on July 30th, 2015. Early investors had to wait to use their ETH, but their patience paid off. From a modest beginning at $0.42 cents per coin in 2015, Ethereum's value reached $100 in 2017 and soared to over $1,000 in 2018. Like Bitcoin, Ethereum also experienced significant growth in 2024, reaching $4,092 and nearing its all-time high of $4,891, which was achieved in November 2021. 
This recent price surge aligns with the pattern seen around Bitcoin's halving events, suggesting that we might be up for another price rally toward the end of the year. What are halving events and how do they impact prices? One of the other catalysts that we have looking at Bitcoin is the halving cycle. So every four years, the amount of new Bitcoin gets cut in half. So what is a halving event? A halving event is a feature built into the design of Bitcoin to control its supply and by extension its value. When Bitcoin was first introduced in 2009, miners were rewarded with 50 Bitcoins every 10 minutes for their role in transaction validation and blockchain maintenance. However, this reward doesn't stay constant, it's designed to be halved approximately every four years. This mechanism, as named halving, reduces the reward for mining new blocks. For example, four years after its inception, the mining reward was halved to 25 bitcoins per 10 minutes, and this pattern continued with the reward dropping to 12.5 in 2016 and then to 6.25 in 2020. In 2024, we're looking at a further reduction to 3.125 bitcoins per 10 minutes. This trend is set to continue until around 2140, when the total number of bitcoins will approach the 21 million cap and mining rewards will cease. The impact of halving on Bitcoin's price is also quite evident. Before the first halving in 2012, Bitcoin was trading at about $12. Post halving, by April 2013, its value skyrocketed to $229. A similar pattern was observed after the second halving in 2016, with a significant price increase by December 2017 when Bitcoin peaked at approximately $19,188. The third halving in May 2020 saw Bitcoin's price rising from about $8,500 to over $40,000 by January 2021. And in 2024, Bitcoin is predicted to follow the same pattern. So when I saw Bitcoin go to $20,000, I don't know what it was, then it dropped down to $1, so what's toast? But then it came roaring back. So and when it hit 6,000, I bought 60 Bitcoin at 6,000. How high will Bitcoin and Ethereum go? Okay, so now the question is, how high will Bitcoin and Ethereum go in 2024? Is it a good investment right now? With the crypto market being notoriously volatile, pinpointing exact future values can be challenging. However, based on trends and expert analyses, there are some bold predictions about the potential growth of these digital assets. Starting the year, Standard Chartered Bank threw out a prediction that Bitcoin could hit $100,000 by year end. But they didn't stop there. They later revised their forecast and said that Bitcoin could reach a staggering $150,000. This revision was based on historical trends observed with gold prices post-ETF launches, drawing parallels to potential movements in Bitcoin's price following similar developments. For Ethereum, Standard Charter's analysis suggests that if the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission greenlights an Ethereum ETF, we could witness inflows of up to $45 billion in its first year. This influx of investment could potentially propel Ethereum's price to somewhere around $8,000 by the end of 2024. Richard Tang, CEO of Binance, also weighed in with his predictions. Initially, he anticipated Bitcoin would reach $80,000 by the end of the year. However, considering the halving event and its tendency to constrict supply while demand persists, he now believes Bitcoin will surpass his original estimate. While there are different predictions about the price trajectories of Bitcoin and Ethereum, one thing is for certain, Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to explode after Bitcoin's upcoming halving event, and investors can capitalize on this opportunity to reap massive gains. It's well, well, please be careful what you, when you use the term asset, you know. The thing with Bitcoin is this, it's not, it's like anything, it's not when you sell, it's when you buy it. You know, my rich dad, your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. I, I don't sell any, any of my properties. So today I think, I don't save dollars, I save gold, silver, Bitcoin, Ethereum. And I don't just say I like the stuff, but it seems to hold its value. And you know, Buffett called Bitcoin rat droppings or something like that. You know, I'm going, well, he's a uh, stock guy. Is it a good time to invest in Bitcoin and Ethereum? The investment horizon for Bitcoin and Ethereum looks promising, with Bitcoin's having event sitting around the corner. 
historical trends and expert forecasts strongly indicate that now might be the ideal time to invest in these digital assets. With the halving events on the horizon, we can anticipate a surge in their value, mirroring past cycles where such occurrences have consistently boosted prices. The current market conditions and the potential for increased demand and decreased supply post having set the stage for potentially lucrative investment opportunities. And that's why, for those considering diversifying their portfolio or entering the crypto market, now is the perfect time to do so, especially given the expected positive trajectory of Bitcoin and Ethereum. This investment window is not just based on speculation, but is supported by a pattern of growth following Bitcoin's halving events. So, are BTC and Ethereum the only investments you need in 2024? Well, maybe not, because we believe in diversifying assets, but these two should definitely be added to your investment portfolio for long-term gains. And if you're confused about the other assets to move your funds to, why not check out our next video on which three assets Robert Kiyosaki believes are better than cash. Take that first step towards smart investment and transform your destiny, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we will be sharing more insights on how to make money the smart way. Stay tuned!